You can be beautiful and not blessed. You didn't hear what I just said. You can be beautiful and not blessed. But this year there's a combination. But beauty and blessing is coming your way. Amen. 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 Recipe number one, quickly, because of time. Let me just hit it quickly. Very simple. Recipe number one, forgetting the past. All right. Write it, write it, write it down, write it down. Write it down. Forgetting the past. Forgetting the past. Church, it's quite amazing to see a lot of born again believers, Holy Ghost free Christians, suffer from this spiritual malnutrition called forgetting the past. A lot of Christians are malnourished. Preach it. Because they keep regurgitating the past. You will never be able to refresh yourself if you're always in the past. All right. Follow me now. <laughs> Say neighbor. Neighbor. Stay in the word. Stay in the word. Unfortunately, I'm saying it is one of the vital recipes to advancing in God. Forgetting the past. Even God himself in order to advance in his plans and purpose for our lives, he decided not to judge us based on our past. Some of you don't get what I'm saying. You, just, you have to have this word today. Even God, our Heavenly Father, for Him to advance in our lives. You, some of you are not getting it. For God to advance in His precepts, for God to advance in His ways, His plans and purpose for me, He has to decide to forget about my past. Amen. Because my past is always holding back the hand of God. So God said, What can I do? Because I need to bless him. Are you hearing me? I need to move him forward. But I have to let go of his past. Amen. Unless you take this water day, you are going to be spiritually malnourished. No matter how much word you receive, you will never be able to assess the fullness of God. Amen. It's called forgetting the past. Are you following somebody? Amen. Vice to say, God Himself, He says, I will not act towards you on the basis of your sin and transgression. God is saying, I'll forget your past. Look at scripture. Hebrews 8 verse 12. For I will be merciful to their unrighteousness and their sins and their iniquities will I remember no more. So I have no more. No more. Shall no more. No more. Are you not glad today that you can say I'm advancing? Because God says, I remember your sin no more. Say me, oh child of God. That's why you have to apply the same thing to somebody else. Because if you have to advance, you have to let others go. Yes. Some of you don't like this now. You want to hear God will turn me around and plant my feet on higher ground. Yes. This is how you go to plant your feet. Forgetting what? The past. Are you following me, somebody? Amen. Isaiah 43, verse 25. It says, I even I am he that blotted out thy transgressions for my own sake and will not remember thy sins. 
Hear me, church. I help you to understand this point from God's perspective. Because if God can do it, you can do it. Amen. It's called recipe to have a beautiful and a blessed year. Amen. You will never, you can shout advance, you can never advance. If you don't, if you're not willing to forget the past. All right, preach it. I, I don't know if someone hearing me. Amen. So, it's better that I want, to sh- I want to talk to you on that point. This year is still very young. I say it's still very young. So you can still have a beautiful and a resounding blessed year. Come on, give God some praise, somebody. Amen. So now, let's just look at you now. Philippians 3 verse 13. It says, Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended but this one thing. I do, forgetting those things which are behind and what? And reaching forth unto the things which are before. I said to you on all this night, what is ahead of you is greater than what is behind you. Amen. Say neighbor, what is ahead of you? Ahead of you. This year. This year. Is greater. Is greater. What is behind you? What behind you? It says, forgetting those things. So Paul is saying, put aside wrong concepts. Put aside wrong mindsets. It means to let go. So say, let go. Go. Forgetting means let go. I don't have, I don't know how to explain it more. That's all I can say to you. Let, let what? Go. Someone says let go. Let go. Say let go. Let go. Let go of the spirit of bitterness. Let go of unforgiveness. Let go of malice. Let go of hatred. Let go of envy. Let go of wickedness. Let go of evil. Child, let go. Let go. We can start this year with that same attitude. We've just finished 12 days of prayer and fasting. I need to admonish you all. This year, forget the past and strive for what's ahead of you. Amen. Why? Why, you, why, why? why should you forget? So you can reach forward to connect with God's vision for your life. So it's a vision. vision. In the coming days, I will help you to understand one way to advance in God is having the vision. Amen. I will talk to you, so, you know, as it's coming. Now, write this down. Until you forget you can never reach forward. Amen. No matter who you are or where you are praying for, until you forget, you can never reach forward. Amen. Every time you want to go forward, things of the past keep pulling you back. This year, we are moving. I said this year, we are moving. Amen. I said this year, we are advancing forward. Amen. As a church, we are moving. Amen. As a family, we are moving. Amen. As an individual, you are moving. Amen. As a department, you are moving. Amen. As a house, you are moving. Amen. As a nation, we are moving. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Someone had a moving. I'm moving. So Philippians 3 verse 14 says, I press forward. I press towards the mark. Okay, watch this now. I press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Follow me now. So, Apostle Paul here is simply saying or reminding us to see the end result and press forward. That's something I want to bring out before. Can I teach you this word? Again, Paul says, 
I press towards the mark for the price of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. So he was simply saying, we have to see the end result and press forward. Amen. You see, the, pro the problem here is that many people, they look, but they don't see. They look, they don't see. Hence, they are unable to press forward. Come on now. That's why we see the story in the book of Joshua, chapter 1. But so when Joshua came to Jericho, Jericho was tightly shut up. Nobody came out, nobody went in because of the children of Israel. Hear me now, hear me. Understand. So, why Joshua was looking at the wall? God said, Joshua, see beyond the wall. Amen. Until you see. The end result, you will not press. Amen. Can I teach you this? Teach your <laughs> this, this, this will blow off your mind. Until you see the end, you will not press. Lift your hands. I prophesy this year. Prophesy. You will not only look, but, but you shall see. The greatness and the glory ahead of you in the name of Jesus. Yeah. It means I said something just now until you see the end, you can't press. Follow me. What 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 do I mean? Until you see the end, you can press. What the devil will magnify to you now is the beginning. All right. The beginning will cause you to be scared. We cause you to fret him. But if you can just see that, that what God has for you is greater than the trouble you have now, that you will press forward. That you don't care who wants to stop you. You know for sure when you yes. get there, it's time to celebrate. Amen. Say press forward. Press forward. But you have to see the end. Amen. So God said to Joshua, see beyond the wall. There's something I want to see. He said, the only reason why Joshua gathered the momentum and the stamina and the fortitude to press forward was when God said, see, he now saw that that what is in him is greater than what is out there. Therefore, he said, we got to take it. Yeah. You will never press forward until you see the end why Be hear, hear me why am I saying press somebody say press forward press forward because whatever your possession whatever possession you have towards the end will determine how much you press to receive amen, amen. Whatever possession you have uh, towards the end will determine how much you press to receive. Uh, yeah, man, if you believe uh, that you will not get it, do not get through, you do you, not press. If you believe uh, that nothing will happen in the end, you will not press. But if you know for sure uh, that the, what, what you see now uh, is bound to change, uh, you don't you tell yourself uh, you don't care the obstacles, uh, you don't care the pain, uh, you're gonna keep going uh, until you get there, you can't stop it. Because you know what? You know there's a breakthrough ahead of you. Amen. The perception of the end will determine how much. You press. Amen. The church, we don't see the glory ahead of us. What we see now is the pain. But you don't see the glory. What keeps me going, I see the end. Ah, you hear me, somebody right here. I see the end. That's what to keep anything going. You have to see the end of that thing. That's why I told you some time ago. Until you see the end of you, you will never see the beginning of God. You have to bring something to an end so that God can take you. Say, neighbor, neighbor. until you come 
to the end of you, you can never see the beginning of God. Lift your hands. As you press forward this year, as you press forward this year, this year, we don't see your end, but you shall see the end of this year in the name of Jesus. Amen. Again, I'm saying to, to you one of the recipes to having a beautiful and a blessed year with God is forgetting the past. Amen. Why? See, the spiritual energy you release to press forward is directly connected to how you perceive your end will be. You only get tired because you you don't see the end. You get, you get worn out because you don't see the end. People talk you out of it. You don't see the end. But when you see the end, no matter who talk, no matter how much they try to block your way, you know for sure you have a destination. You are doing something. You know for sure that by this time this year, you are about to have your major breakthrough because it's oh my God. Verse a spiritual energy that goes with every project. Amen. I'm teaching you something that will help you in life. If I don't see that there's greatness coming on the way, my spiritual energy will decrease. It's not obia, it's not witch. It's what you see. How you perceive your end will be. That's how much energy you release. Come on now. Uh, Somebody's not here, what I'm saying. Am I helping someone right now? Yes, Bishop. It means your spiritual energy releases your walk with God. Your spiritual energy towards your ministry calling. Energy towards your assignment. Energy towards your business or your job. Pursue your dream. Pursue your career. Believe in God for that wedding. There's an energy you put because you believe that if God said this year you'll be set up. You, are you hearing me? You don't care. You put in all because you know for sure at the end of the year you shall be set up. Amen. Again. Until you come to the end of yourself, you can never see the beginning of God. Amen. Hear me. I'm saying we must keep looking towards this year in our heart that with God's help, it shall be our greatest successful year. So here yeah, what I'm saying. Amen. I'm saying that from now, the year is still very young. Amen. Amen? Amen. So look at it from your heart and tell us that with God's help it shall be one of my greatest years. Amen. Lift your hands. Oh. You see, we serve a God that has a beautiful name. It's a beautiful God. Uh, what a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus, Jesus Christ, my King. Oh, what a beautiful name it is. Nothing compares to you. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus. What a beautiful name it is. What a beautiful name it is. The name. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. Oh, what a beautiful name it is. Nothing compares. Nothing compares to you. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus. Now, if you don't get.
forget anything I'm saying today. Paul says, forgetting the things which are behind and striving for that which is ahead of you. Again, one point I want to make clear to you today. To advance in God, you have to see the end. What will cause you to push is what you see at the end. Amen. So say at the end. At the end. Not at the beginning, please. The beginning might not look so nice. The Bible says, do not despise the days of the small beginnings. Because you know you begin small, but you end up great. Amen. 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 Now, other recipes, quickly, let me just give you because of time. Other recipes that you will need to guarantee you are beautiful and a blessed year with God are number one. Number two, <clears throat> we are to repent. Number three, we are to resolve. Number four, we are to remember. I don't want you. We are to repent, resolve, remember. The three hours. Don't miss it. Say repent. Repent. Say resolve. Reserve. Say remember. Remember. Okay. Let me just.